The transfer window we've all been waiting for has finally been flung open, which means that bargaining and negotiations have already started. As a matter of fact, some clubs have already started finalising transfers even before the window opened, like Barcelona with the Ferran Torres deal. If you're still questioning how that deal happened, get over it, as we have a lot of more drama and shockers about to unfold and unravel in the coming weeks. As we anticipate a roller coaster window, here are 10 of the the best bargains we think top clubs in Europe can possibly get in January. Come with us. Number 1. Christian Eriksen We all know what happened to Eriksen at the Euros. Now, due to his heart condition, he and Inter Milan came to a mutual agreement to terminate his contract with the club. So, because of that, the 2019 Champions League finalist is one of the very few players who will be a free agent by January. It would also be an absolute steal if a club who needs a creative midfielder could snatch him up for free in the coming weeks. The 29-year-old is now fully recovered from his heart condition and he is still a genius on the ball. Anyway, this offer is only open to clubs outside Italy as the Italian top flight have made a ruling that the Dane cannot play in the Serie A anymore. Number 2. Luca Digna Luca Digna is not Benitez's favourite player in the Everton squad. The Frenchman has hardly seen a game time in the whole of December, so with that hanging in the air at the blue side of Merseyside, it might be a bargain if he could be moved to the blue side of London. Chelsea are currently in an injury crisis, and one particular place where they desperately need reinforcement is the left full-back position. Ben Chilwell has just been ruled out for the entire season due to a knee injury, so the London club needs someone to fill his shoes. Looking at the market now, it's hard to find a quicker and better fix. Dinha is an experienced left back who's good at going forward. Just how Tuchel likes his fullbacks. He has also proved himself in the league, so he won't need much adjustment time. And to cap it all, his current manager doesn't fancy him that much, so getting him out of the club won't be so much of a hassle. So, bringing Dinha over to Stamford Bridge on a loan deal will be a really good bargain for Chelsea. He covers for Chilwell till the end of the season, and they go back to their trusted left wing back when he gets back at the end of the season. Number 3. Hakim Ziyech Ziyech is not one of Tuchel's favourite players. If all Chelsea players up front were fit, he would be getting close to no game time at all. And with the Moroccan going off to AFCON in some days, we expect that he will drop further down the manager's pecking order. So, considering that he's not very needed by Tuchel, he will be surely willing to let him go at a reasonable price, especially considering that Chelsea will also have to make purchases of their own to strengthen the injury-ridden squad. Dortmund are a team who seem interested in the right wing forward as they look to salvage what is left of their season. Number 4. Ainsley Maitland-Niles Believe it or not, Ainsley Maitland-Niles is still a gunner. It's very obvious that Arteta has no use for him and also obvious that the 24-year-old wants to leave the Emirates. I mean, how much more obvious could it be? In the summer, when his move to Everton fell through, he went on Instagram and said, all I want to do is go where I'm wanted and where I'm going to play. He wants out, and considering that he's hardly had playing minutes this season, his value on the market is pretty low, which is good for suitors. However, what makes this a really good bargain is that the boy is young and very versatile. He can play in defence and midfield and has also been used in attack before. Reports say that Mourinho is after the Englishman as he looks to bolster his Roma squad for the remainder of the season. But best believe that would be a brilliant deal if it gets completed. Number 5. Philippe Coutinho The former Liverpool man is one of those players in the Barcelona squad that Xavi is not very interested in. And considering that Coutinho didn't exactly do great under other managers, the board seems ready to finally let him go for good. He had that loan spell with Bayern two years ago, but the German club were not very keen on retaining him. But don't get it twisted, European clubs are still looking for how to bring the Brazilian over to their side. Arsenal, Everton and Newcastle were some of the teams willing to bring him in on this window. And with Barcelona still in a financial mess, they surely won't make it difficult for any club who brings forward a reasonable offer. So, this is one very interesting bargain that clubs can really cash in on in the coming weeks. Before we go further, are you enjoying this video so far? If you are, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Done, let's now get back to the video. Number six, Kieran Trippier. Trippier, who is a current La Liga winner, has been pretty vocal about wanting to return to the Premier League. The former Man City and Spurs man has been heavily linked to Newcastle United as one of the solutions to their defensive woes. And well, he could just be. He's pretty fast, brilliant going forward, immensely experienced, and Atletico have demanded just 15 million euros for him. Yes, just 15 million. Newcastle need to just lock this one down as soon as they can. I mean, that's even chicken change for them right now. What are they waiting for? Number seven, Edinson Cavani. Having lost his place in the starting lineup and even on the bench as well as his shirt number this season, Cavani is looking to leave United as soon as possible. El Matador, who has started just three league games for the Red Devils this season, is surely looking for a way out soon enough. And from January the 1st, he could legally start negotiating with other clubs. His age, as well as the fact that he's hardly been used this season, will ensure that he goes for more than a decent price in January. Also, considering that he's just months left in his contract, United will take any price that clubs offer. Juventus and Barcelona, among other clubs, appear to be very interested in the 34-year-old. And why this is a great bargain is because, in spite of his age, Cavani is still lethal in front of goal an experienced poacher, and he proved that in the few minutes he was given against Newcastle in the Premier League. Number 8. Aubameyang From the look of things, Aubameyang may just well be on his way out of the club. The former captain has not been called up for five straight games now, and unlike other Africans in the Premier League, the 32-year-old left England to join his national team's training camp before the turn of the new year. Surely, he's already fallen out of favour with the Arsenal boss, and the Garbanese will be looking for routes out of the club. This is what makes him a really good target for January. Any club who can get the one-time Premier League Golden Boot winner firing again will have surely struck gold. And our guess is that Arsenal will not like to still keep their highest earner on their payroll when he isn't getting any minutes. So surely they'll be looking for ways to ship him off in this window and we believe they will be willing to accept a reasonable price. Number 9. Usman Dembele According to recent reports, Dembele might be leaving Barcelona in the next couple of weeks. With six months left on his contract, the Frenchman was expected to have extended his contract before January, but talks have repeatedly broken down. Barcelona want the Frenchman to take a wage cut because of the club's current financial woes, which he initially had no problems with. But after seeing what was spent on and how much was offered to Ferran Torres, the 24-year-old has become largely reluctant to put pen to paper. And if they don't agree on a contract extension, then surely Barcelona will look to sell the winger before this window closes, just so he doesn't go for free at the end of the season. With that in mind, suitors could be getting the pacey and talented winger a very good good bargain in this window. It would be a huge steal for Liverpool, who will be losing two of their best attackers in January. Of course, Newcastle will also look at this as a very good bargain as they look to spend their way out of a relegation battle. Other clubs like Man United and Bayern Munich have also shown interest in the newly married man. Number 10. Kingsley Coman Coman wants to leave Bayern Munich and his team are already looking for his next destination. And to be fair, the lad has won everything he can possibly win, so perhaps he wants to go and test himself elsewhere. This makes for a great bargain. Also, Bayern Munich will not push back too much as they're a little desperate themselves. They need money. They've lost more than 150 million euros due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And that is made worse because the Bavarian state is currently exercising strict COVID-19 protocols. That means that there won't be any fans in the Allianz Arena in the foreseeable future, which means even less money for the club. So, if a club comes and offers them a decent amount of money for a player they deem replaceable, they are surely going to take it. And from the look of things, a French switch between Barcelona and Bayern Munich may just happen. And that will end up being a very palatable bargain for both European clubs. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Catch you in the next one. Bye!